Sorry, that is El Garita del Diablo, Century House of the Devil. Thank you, thank you. Um, the legend is that when a soldier is stationed down there, in the morning they will find only his clothes and weapons and he will be gone. And this has happened several times. It's actually documented to have happened. So that sentry post, which actually is attached to this whole thing through a tunnel, which is too wet for us to go down. Um, now, all right, let me, let me not get ahead of myself. So this happened many, many times. And of course, when new recruits came here, they were sent there. All right, so we know that. Now, what's the truth of it? First, if such an event happened today, what do you think we would call them? Deserter. Deserter. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's say that the legend is true. What would we call it? Spontaneous okay, combustion. <laughs> no, we would probably Alien. say it was haunted. Oh. Uh, because in our time and age, we don't think of the devil playing an active part in the world. So we think of ghosts because we're taught that on television and people wearing shirts like, uh, where did he go? Austin. Hi. <laughs> So, um, but back then in the 16th century, they weren't so worried about ghosts. They were worried about the devil coming to harvest your soul a little bit ahead of time. And, um, you know, this was a Catholic place, extremely Catholic. So when something strange happened, they blamed it on the devil. These days, most Americans will blame it on ghosts. And in the 50s, they might have blamed it on aliens. It's a, it's a progression of culture, unexplained things are ascribed to things based on the current culture. A hundred years from now, who knows what we'll be blaming things on? The blaming on the skeptics. They'll blame it on us, that's right. <laughs> also, we're in Puerto Rico, which is the birthplace of El Chupacabra, which was the theme of our last cruise. So Woo! who knows, they may blame that on El Chupacabra. So that's the legend. Now, why only that garita and not the others? It's white. Well, no, the reason it's white is that they just rebuilt it <laughs> uh, because it was co it was corroded. So that's the reason oh, that's it's white. Well, why that one? Somebody said something that made sense. Deserted. 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 Isolated. Isolated. Right. Yeah. Now you see this one here. It's not quite so isolated because the more ornate parts of the structure is where the offices were, and they could see that one. Nobody could really see this one. You had to be on the walls or in this sentry tower to see that one, and that's it. There's another reason, though, a more important one. Waves. Those are good too because there was a place to escape too, but there's actually a simpler one. It's very close to the ground. Right. You could crawl out and just go down. Here, if you crawled out, actually, I don't know if you can get out of those windows, you'd have to go either down this wall, which would probably break a leg, or go past the fort. And that wasn't likely to be a successful mission. So, it's nice when some legends actually have facts. I was able to find online an archive from the New York Times in 1907 where they interviewed a soldier who was captured by the devil and taken out of the Greek. But actually what had happened was he was in there, bored out of his skull in the, no, I guess it was about 1870, and there was a party going on over here in one of these houses, and he could smell the rum. So I was like, it's four o'clock in the morning, what the hell? So he climbed down the wall and he left his gun behind, he's still wearing his clothes, and went in and had a few drinks. And the next thing he knew, the sun had come up. And he knew he was screwed then because there was no way to get back to the fort and not be seen. So he, and he would have been killed for deserting. So he decided to just disappear. And instead of going back, he walked that way into the inland of Puerto Rico and took up residence in a hamlet. And I believe that is probably the best explanation for this garit being haunted or having the devil living there is that that was just the perfect place for desertion. And being in the Spanish army wasn't the best thing in the world. It was hot, you had to wear heavy wool uniforms, and there were people drinking rum next door. <laughs> so, that is what I wanted to show you, and that is why I brought you here. Um, the interesting lesson here is how different cultures ascribe different things to different unexplained phenomena. Uh, we would never say anything was from the devil now. We would probably ascribe it to ghosts. But being skeptics, we would be comfortable saying, I don't know, until the New York Times writes an article about it, and then we do know. <laughs> so does anyone have any questions? So did they interview the guy? Is that how we know? Yes, they interviewed the guy. Also, uh, there was another guy they found living with uh, an Indian woman in the rainforest who was also a soldier, like, in the 1830s. That was a different story. Any other questions? I'm going to give you instructions after this, so don't leave. <laughs>